Hey everyone, Pat Gillette here from Dragonfly Art Studio. I'm really glad to be back. I wasn't here last Friday because uh, we were without power or internet for five days. Uh, that storm, tropical storm came through and uh, it just pretty much wiped everything out here. So glad to be back. Now, you know, I've been talking a lot about art play and that's what I did all those five days, all last week. Um, art play to me is when um, you try new things, you experiment. Um, I, I enjoy learning new things. I teach myself new things, you know. And so here, here I've been teaching myself how to paint water. Ah, And you know, if I ever don't show you how to do something like that, I just want you to know, it's because that takes like four days to do, you know. I've kind of got it down to nine layers now, so. But it's very satisfying to do. Um, you really get into the rhythm of water. I mean, it's really fun, you know. For me, it's fun. I don't, you know, you have to go according to, you know, your own temperament, your own patience, your, you know, some people like to get something done fast, you know, and I understand that. And that's what art play is. Every time I show you something on Fridays, uh, that's art play. What If you were to be a part of the art mentorship program, every Monday what you'd get is art play. They're short, quick things. They're kind of things to try out, you know, experiment with different colors, tools, techniques. Um, things like that and as let me just so I don't forget the art and mentorship program you know as we all go through more and more disasters happening out there in the world I think we need the escape more than ever you need something creative you need art or you need music or you need dance something you can immerse yourself in you know and uh, so we have a new low price over at the art and mentorship program and um, hopefully that will help alleviate some of all of this that's going on in the world. I'd love to have you join us. And I don't do coaching. I don't do one-on-one -on -one coaching. But I've, called, I've changed the name of this to mentorship because I found that with the Founders Group and with the classes that I've been teaching, it turns into like your own pretty much private coaching situation you can show me things we do a live once a month you can show me what you're working on and ask me anything you know we can work through it um, so there's that that's why it's a mentorship and so if you want access to me you know come over there sign up and we'll see how it goes um, now with art play okay one of the things that I found really good to do is to really sink yourself into um, whatever it is you want to paint or create or whatever that means to you, you know, whatever that is. Um, sit with it, observe it, feel the essence of it, get into the rhythm of it, you know. Once you get into that feeling of it, if you can bring that kind of an aspect into your art it gets very powerful people feel that you know so that's one thing um another thing use whatever you have a lot of art play is about you know using you know, inexpensive paints trying different things um marker paper that you can get at the grocery store you know to try out new things are you sinking on me i think you're sinking on me <laughs> And uh, so try get media that you have a lot of, okay, so that you don't feel like you're wasting anything or, you know, this is play, you know, you need to give it time and space and, and try different things. Let's see, what else? Oh, yes, once you get a real handle on what you want to do, make bold strokes. You know, however you approach a piece of art, people can feel that in your art. You know, if you're kind of hesitant, that shows in your mark. If you're confident and bold and use the colors, you know, and you know, that shows in your art too. It gives people the essence of a thing. It gives people a feeling of you, you know. So be bold in your art. Know what you're going to do. 
last thing, you know, kind of limit your palette. Don't use every color unless you like it. You know, try every color, but know that every color um, may not always work together, but sometimes contrast is good. Opposite colors are very striking, you know, but know that. Be in awareness. I think more than ever, this time has given us the opportunity to be in awareness of all of our choices, of everything we do, where we go, how we interact, you know, what risks we're willing to take, you know, and keep ourselves safe at all times. Keep ourselves and our loved ones safe at all times. That's the bottom line, you know. You are creating your life with your choices. Put something creative in your choices. Come back to art. That's a doing art. Fun to watch people, but when you do it, it's even better, okay? So, those are the things. Um, you get a lot of uh, free videos. You get a lot of videos in, in whatever I offer. I know some people are a bit hesitant to share their video, videos and, you know, I tell you what I'm doing and what I'm using. So, with that in mind, let's do a little art play today. What it's about is I want to try a color because I got this golden viridian and I'm still playing with it. I'm still trying to figure out what I love to what I can do with it that I would love let's say that okay so because it's, it's a different color it's really different okay so let's get a little closer here bring you in we're walking we're walking over to let's get a little brighter brightness coming in here let's get to our um, I'll have to keep an eye on this that it doesn't move too much but I'd like to try out that color. Let's see. This is, let's get over this way a bit. Kind of like that. It's a weird little contraption I have here, for sure. But uh, hopefully it'll stay put. Hmm. Let's see if we can bring you down a little bit. Okay, let's give that a try. Again, on my easel, I have a lot of uh, pictures for inspiration and things like that. I've marked off a horizon line. Now let me, let me talk just a little bit about um, composition. When we have a higher horizon line, it brings the viewer more into the painting, more into this part, more into the painting part of it. And so on this horizon line, I just want to set up a little bit of a, you know, this is a oil pastel. So it's not going to blend, it's just going to be there. I just want to set up a little something, something going on in there. Kind of guide my eye along something happening again I'm thinking very much of water and, uh, and a little bit of something way back here just kind of something happening and you know we like our eye to lead us somewhere so Along with that, I want to put in something coming from, from here, something, I don't know, some kind of growth, something happening, leading our eye up this way, and, you know, growing things, just to kind of give me something to work with here. And let's see, maybe a little something off this way. You know, islands are fascinating. I love the Caribbean. I hope to get back to the Caribbean. There's things, you know, that are in the water, and the water is so incredibly turquoise. So. Let's start with that. Now my colors, I have a, um, 
cobalt blue and that viridian and a Prussian blue and Naples yellow and some whites you know so you use a color you like we're sticking to blues and greens adding a little bit of yellow and whites and maybe a Payne's gray for a deeper color or just use the Prussian for a deeper color but I want to um, just straight titanium white because the skies I've been observing the skies of different water areas and they seem to let's see how that's looking they get very pale the farther down they go very very pale very white but yet they're a little bit deeper in the corners. Maybe I'll add just a little bit of uh, even Prussian to the corners. And, you know, smooth. <laughs> I've been doing this a lot, making my water, you know? And um, it's kind of an interesting thing because you know, people go, oh, it looks so peaceful. Yeah, well, you know, you keep doing this horizontally, you're going to get as peaceful as you can get. You get a real smooth sky coming across. This is a bit different than how I usually do my skies, if you've watched me do them in the past. I like a lot of movement and diagonals. Well, that's nice. Okay. We'll just let that sit for a while. We may add some clouds low to the horizon line. And then, now, let's see what we can do with this color. This color in playing with the mixing of it I found that um, I really kind of liked when the white and that color go together So white and then that color on my brush. Let's see, deeper. Deeper coming in. a little bit of that blue coming in on here. And back to my changing brushes here and there. In the water, there's like streaks of color happening all the time. And sometimes you can capture something in just a stroke. And that's, that's great, you know. Get a little bit of more kind of contrast coming in. Do 
use my big soft brush come across and keep moving my way down This is things. A little Prussian in here. Back to my color that will probably lighten up quite a bit as it gets closer to this land. And then everything seems to lighten up quite a bit where I think adding lighter tones that work my way down Warm white, you know, I like to use some warm white with um, it's not the titanium, it's, it's like the titanium but with a bit more of a golden tone to it. And then just keep working it, just keep working it as you work your way up. for a bit of a maybe um, sandiness or something coming in this way even closer to this little land mass We're catching our eye there. A little bit of water to that. Everything is so smooth and blendy. And for that landmass, which brushes again? You know, I have this rounded brush I really like a lot. And uh, I'm just going to get a bit of uh, something deep in with that green. That green, that same green, but deep. And get some of this in. Different brushes give you different marks, you know. This is like, I don't know, you know, on an island, like growth of something. And it seems to kind of go when you look down at it from a, a high area, it seems to kind of 
follow along the shoreline. Again, you know, you don't have to know what every little thing is. Um, our eye puts it together. And um, I wanted to lighten something up a little bit. I could just do a little bit of something. Give it a different tone. That might be about it for that. Let's get back to my, my deep tones for that horizon. And then, you know, sometimes these sandy kind of things, these sandy areas, you kind of see them, they kind of swirl out. Swirl out away towards the water. And then sometimes you'll even kind of see it swirl, It'll be like a sandbar or something coming in. all just kind of blends, the edges of things blend. Water, water is so fascinating. Water makes shapes. If you study water sometime, water makes kind of shapes. And um, let's get a little bit deeper something. Happening. Make it a little different. Deeper green and on this side. You know, there's there's seaweed, there's all kinds of things growing underneath, and that all makes a difference. kind of blending together and then there's there's always kinds of um, there's there's always kinds of like ripples and things happening swells you know swells going on towards the land and those may start to go in this kind of an effect carrying our eye this way and those are those swells. And they get smaller and smaller. We may see them closer up. Ripples, and swells and ripples.
different tones. There's always movement happening. And again, you know, we're, we're just kind of experimenting. We're seeing how we can make it look like in our mind's eye or on a picture we're what looking at, how we can interpret that, how we can get that movement happening. And things happening closer into the land. And let's see, maybe a little bit more with that, um, another brush smaller brush. Make this land mass a little bit something. It's like islands always have things happening, things coming up. Little sandbars or something. So you're trying to create a feeling here, a movement. And with everything so horizontal, I kind of like this kind of coming at a, at a diagonal. It kind of takes our eye away. And then let's look at that. Horizon. Smooth, guide our eye across. Reflections in water, give it a little depth. Give it a bit of a horizon line. I saw a movie the other day about Hawaii, and I think that's where my turquoise water lies. Of course, from what I can remember from St. John, the water's got pretty turquoisey there, too. And that was wonderful. Just carry your hand across, and then just keep bringing the the brush. Okay. Maybe now I would consider then some of those clouds. Well, I'm going to do clouds. Sometimes I just, you know, take my white. Well, we're going to need a lot more white. If I were to do clouds, I would do them. You know, it's very interesting clouds that are over water. They, um, as for a brush, I've been playing with these new brushes. They're called a filbert. And uh, you know, sometimes I'll mix a color and just the clouds would follow the horizon line. They'd be kind of flat at the bottom. So you just kind of give them some wonderful. If you have pictures again, get pictures. 
some kind of wonderful billowy kind of looking things coming across. Wispies. Sky showing through. And then they seem to come very low. Very, very low to the horizon. And um, maybe just a little bit of highlights at the top. Very light. <clears throat> just kind of dabs. With each of these that I do, I learn more, you know. I learn more of what I want to do in my bigger paintings. The ones that take days. And then just, just kind of make it a little bit straighter. And clouds in front of clouds. You know, it's how you move. It's the kind of brush you have. I know somebody said on my site, oh, well, it's the brushes, yes. And it's how you use the brushes. It is, very much so. There's all kinds of things happening in clouds. So that's one thing I can do with this color. It's not exactly turquoise but it certainly comes out to be kind of green water. And um, I think I'm going to stop here and step away and give it some thought and see what I think about it and um, take pictures of it, as you know I do. And I'll let you know if I add anything more to it. If you have any questions, ask questions on the site. Let me know what you think. Let me know what you think of this color. And uh, talk to you soon. And hope to be back here each Friday from now on. Thanks so much for being here. Bye for now.